Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize and today we've got fragrance all and it's five classic fragrances. So I've been out looking at different websites, looking at different places, trying to pick up some good classic fragrances either that people have recommended to me or that I've shown an interest in and I've found five I've put them together all into one video so this is for you guys I know a few people have really enjoyed the classic fragrance hauls that I've done so far so hopefully there'll be many more to come along these lines and the first one is from 1808 now some people will know what that is straight away and I know that Miami Cuddles keeps going on about this um, and I know Tony from Fragdicted has got it and he said how good it is so I decided to spend all my money on it and it's cost me for 270 mil <sighs> I can't believe I've spent this much money £7.74 off Amazon can you believe that? 270 mil for £7.74. And it is Florida Water Cologne from Murray and Landman. And you can see it's a really nice bottle. The only thing I would say about it, I mean, I love everything about it apart from the fact that it's plastic. You can see it pushing in there. But I suppose for £7.74, you can't really grumble. So this is from 1808. Now, I don't know who the perfumer is for this. I've managed to find a few perfumers, but I'm not sure about this one. Uh, I'm not sure how the best to open this is. And whether it's worth getting rid of the whole of this bit, but it seems a shame to do that. But I think I'm gonna have to. And so I've just twisted it and as you can see it's just come away like that. So this is a splash on so I will just put it onto some paper like this and see how it goes and straight away that is very citrusy. I call that, huh? Make sure that's tight. So it's all over my fingers. So there's there's a lot of citruses in there. There's a bit of neroli, I think. But I'm getting like a herbal quality from it as well. Like a slight spiciness to it. That feels very refreshing. That is going to be ideal as like a summer splash on. I really like that. So I'd say definitely summer weather, hot weather. Yeah, that's great. Love it. Unisex. I'd definitely say both sexes could definitely wear it. So that's the first one and I really, really like it. So we'll move on to the next one. Now this one was only 25 mil. It's an aftershave and it cost me £4.99. I have been trying to get a bigger bottle in the eau de toilette and it seems impossible. Uh, really really struggling I'd probably be able to get one off eBay but then do I trust the seller will it be the real juice you just don't know do you and this is from 1934 and it is Pur Un Hom by Caron and as you can see it's a diddy little bottle and it is an aftershave 
vaporizer natural spray so it's still a spray which is good uh, and the perfumer behind this is Ernest Daldroff I think it is but we'll give it a smell and we'll take it from there shall we so I like the little Diddy design I think the main design is very similar with the white paper there in the middle with the name and stuff on uh, I quite like it nice travel spray plastic cap not a lot going on there it has got Caron in the top and then it's got a big black atomizer let's give this a smell so I've heard a lot of people say good things about Caron Oof, that's sharp. Oof. So you're getting a massive blast of lavender. That's probably the most lavender I've ever smelt in a fragrance, and I've got some lavender heavy fragrances. It's quite sweet. It's very gentlemanly as lavender tends to be there's a bit of musk there it's quite um, it's quite pissy Ooh. I'm not sure about that I am not sure about that I think it's definitely signature sort of scent worthy. As regarding the smell, I don't think it's more suited for one particular season. And I'd definitely say it's masculine. I'm going to have to wear this on skin and see if I can get around that pissiness that's coming from it. But yeah, £4.99. And I got that from Direct Cosmetics, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, so we'll move on to the next one. So this next one was recommended by Sebastian. I think it's his channel, he smells good now, but he changes his channel name so often from when I first started watching him. Now Sebastian has done a few videos on stuff that's he highly recommends that's been discontinued or it's going harder and harder to find. And this is one of them. And it's by Daniel Hectare. And it's called Caricature. And this is from 1989. And the perfumer behind this is Alan Vertos or Verchos. And this is an eau de toilette and it's 50 ml. Now, I'd never heard of it until Sebastian mentioned it. I managed to pick it up for £20 off Amazon, which I thought was great. And it looks like it's a, a Paris house because it's got Paris underneath the Daniel Hector. Now, I really like the design on that. It's got like the shape of a bottle and it's got different colors around the shape of the bottle. And it's got the green little plaque on there with character or character. I don't really know how you pronounce it. There's a barcode on the side. There's two little slashes on the top. There's a batch code on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. And then on the back, you got lots of details. So let's open it up, see what the bottle looks like. He was very complimentary about this fragrance, hence why I went out and bought it. So it's a nice little fragrance bottle. It's quite dark looking. Caricature, Daniel Hector and Eau de Toilette Vaporizer. The cap isn't the greatest, it's quite plasticky, it's got a code on the bottom as well. 
So it's really, really plastic and basic, the cap. Even the atomizer, it's got like the crimping atomizer, which I'm not really a fan of. But we'll give it a spray and see what it smells like. The saving grace, as they say. So I'm loving that straight away. Absolutely loving it. Oh yeah. This has definitely got old school vibes. It's a fragrance from the late 80s, I suppose. So it's quite aromatic, quite woody. It's definitely got that oak moss, green, spicy, lavender feel. But there's a lot more going on. There's like a frankincense vibe in there. And a bit of leather. That is really, really nice. I'd probably class it as like a spicy fougere. But it's got a smokiness to it as well. Probably coming from the frankincense. So I'd say colder spring day, autumn, winter. This is when it's going to suit this fragrance. And it's very masculine. I am really pleased with that. That is so good. It smells really, really good. I'm really happy with that one. So on to the next one. And I bought this after one of my friends, a uh, long time subscriber, messaged me all the time on WhatsApp, Stuart George. He sent me uh, a link to this. I think it was like a sensual and it was like 20 pound for a 75 mil EDT. And I'd been looking at picking it up anyway. So when he sent me that, I just jumped straight on it. Uh, and funny enough, when I've spoke to him, he never actually bought it. So that was a strange one. So it's from 1992 and it's a Ralph Lauren fragrance and it's Safari for men. So I have been after this for a while. So for £20 for 75ml, I'm really chuffed with that. Now Stuart is one of these guys that he probably buys more fragrances than me. I know, it's hard to believe. Um, but he's one of these where he'll get a fragrance and then he'll buy every single flanker that it's had, and which I just think is amazing. When he sends me some of the pictures that he's got, the stuff that he's got, it's just brilliant. So this has got like, um, I really like this box. It's got like a, a crocodile skin sort of vibe going on, or snake skin. I think it's more crocodile to be fair. So you've got Safari for Men by Ralph Lauren in like a silver plaque on it. It's an eau de toilette and it's 75 mil. So it's got that same effect on the top and the sides. Uh, there's a barcode on the bottom. And then you've got lots of details on the back. So let's have a look at the bottle. Now I've seen this bottle quite a few times, so the bottle's not gonna be a surprise. And I do love the style of this bottle. It is proper old school, but yeah, I still love the style of it. And look at that, that looks amazing. I just love just the, the light shining off, the way it's been like crystallized down the middle, just love it. And then it's got the lovely Ralph Lauren plaque. And then it's got a bit of a marble effect in the top. That is really, really nice. A bit going on on the bottom. But yeah, really like that. Cap is very plasticky. So, a bit of a disappointment, but. So, let's give this a smell. I got my fingers big time there. 
that's nice. So I'm picking up a little bit of bergamot straight away. But it's another fabulous fougere. So you're definitely picking up the lavender and the oak moss straight off. Quite spicy again, a little more green than the character. But once again, you're getting like a, a really nice lever in there. And you're picking up them musks. Love it, absolutely love it. That is really, really good. I am happy with that one. Another thumbs up. Thanks for that, Stuart. You need to get it now. So last but not least, um, I picked up a fragrance from 1997. Uh, it was more to do with the price than anything else. I picked it up for £21 from Direct Cosmetics. It was a 100ml EDT and it's Burberry Weekend for Men. Now there's a few of the Burberry fragrances which I really enjoy. It does get bad press with some of the fragrances, so I'm hoping this isn't going to be one of them. So on the front of the box you got Burberry Weekend. It's got that check pattern which Burberry is well known for. It's just in a, a darker darker vibe on here. It's um, Eau de Toilette, 100 mil, as I've already said. It's got a silver Burberry in the top. Sides are the same, not, not much going on. And then on the bottom, you've got your barcode, etc. So let's have a look at the bottom. So that's a nice bottle. It's got Burberry Weekend on the front. And then I like this little design at the bottom, all the way across the bottom. It's like crystallized, all little lines. And then it's got like a, a gunmetal sort of cap. That's quite plasticky. And then the atomizer is a good same gunmetal sort of style. Let's try this one. And that came out better than most of the others. So this is from 1997 and the perfumer behind it is Michael um, Almayrak, I think it is. So you're getting masses of citrus in this straight away. It's a little bit herbal. A little bit musky. But the citrus is very uplifting. Definitely a spring summer sort of fragrance. Inoffensive for the office. Definitely say it's a, a masculine fragrance. I'm happy with that. Like, what can you say about like these fragrances when they're so inoffensive? It's maybe classed as a little bit bland, but sometimes you want that sort of style where it's like fresh and uplifting and that's what you're getting from that fragrance. Really happy with that. No issues at all with that. I'll just quickly go through them all. So the Florida water, yeah, it's very spicy. There's a lot more spice coming into it. I'm picking up cloves. Now cloves is one of my favorite notes, so I'm happy with that big time. We'll go back to the pour on. Pour on by Caron. And that's mellowed a bit. 
that's not as sharp and in your face as what it was when I first smelled it. It's still getting that pissy sort of feel. But yeah, that's improving. The Daniel Hector. That is beautiful. That is so good. A beautiful spicy fougere. Love it. Wonderful. And Ralph Lauren Safari. Yeah, another classic, absolute classic. Love it. Fougere, just absolutely brilliant. Bit greener than character. But once again, oh, to die for. Absolutely to die for. And Burberry Weekend, I know I've just sprayed it, but. See, I'm getting like a green grassiness from this now. It's almost like you're getting the, the citrus, but you're getting like the more from the rind. Like the orange peel. I'm getting like quite a bit of a like tomato leaf sort of feel from it. You know, the greenness of the vines. Yeah, really like that. Really happy. So I'd say probably four of them I really like. The Caron pour on, the Jew, Jury's out with that one. I'm gonna have to wear it, see if it gets any better. It is one of those which could go either way. Maybe the sport version might suit me better, but I'll give them a wear and see how I get on. And if you keep in touch with my Instagram, you'll see any updates that I put on there. I always put photos of stuff that I've done first impressions of and I'll give a bit more detail later on as to what I think of them. So I'm really happy with those. Really, really enjoyed them. Loving the classics at the moment. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these, what are your thoughts? Don't forget to leave me recommendations of any classics that you think I might like. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It always helps the channel and I'll speak to you all soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.